June 13th, all your questions will be answered. All the news you need to know and more. I have to admit, there is a ton of excitement. This E3 with Xbox, all the acquisitions, and the big one, Bethesda, looks to be finally coming to fruition. Wait till E3, no more. Xbox and Bethesda are having a joint event. It's kind of odd when they announce Xbox and Bethesda because Bethesda is Xbox now. They're a first-party studio. Some people have been speculating that because they're making that separation, it makes it easier to announce games by Bethesda for other platforms. But I do not believe that that is the case. I think that the Bethesda games will be exclusive to Xbox. The reason that I think they're making that distinction, Xbox and Bethesda, is because they want to highlight that one studio, first-party studio, Bethesda, and their games for Xbox. That's the reason, not because they're going to put Bethesda games on other platforms. The really exciting part is seeing what Bethesda has in store for Xbox, the games that are coming out soon, and some of the projects that are a bit farther away, nothing wrong with announcing them. But now we know that all of this content is exclusive to the Xbox and Game Pass. And that is extremely exciting. This is going to be the E3 where I think we're going to see surprises, where I think we're going to see large scale games, medium scale games, and those smaller scale games. I think that the scope and the breadth of content is going to be stellar. And don't forget, they're calling it a joint event because once they highlight Bethesda, their first party studio, and the content that they have planned, Xbox is going to highlight a lot more games from other studios that they have. They're going to show maybe Starfield. I think we're going to see some Starfield. I think maybe we'll get more information on Perfect Dark. And of course, the big one. We are going to see a new trailer, gameplay trailer for Halo Infinite. And a lot is riding on this one after the somewhat lukewarm to poor showing of that first game the first gameplay trailer for Halo Infinite. They went back in, delayed the game, are working extremely hard, and I think we're going to see a Halo that we expect, a next-gen Halo. I'm interested in the story. I really want them to focus in on story and make it that huge world, huge IP, and give Master Chief a bit more dimension. And of course, you know that they're going to focus on the multiplayer as well. It is free to play. So a lot of excitement around this E3 and this event. Xbox focusing in on that one big studio, showing what they have, Bethesda, and then showing a bunch of other games from other studios, maybe some more Psychonauts too. Now, I know we're going to see some things that we saw last year, and maybe that'll be disappointing to some people. But I do think we're going to see a lot new, maybe some Hellblade. So lots to be excited about this E3. I think that if I had to choose who's going to have the better E3 right now, who has the more excitement, maybe not the better E3, but all of the excitement is in the Xbox camp right now because of all these acquisitions and the fact that we really haven't seen much new for a long time. There's that expectation with PlayStation that you're going to see great games. God of War will probably blow people away. But with Xbox, there's so many unknowns, and that's what's exciting about this event. You know Bethesda's going to show great games, and all the other studios, once Microsoft starts highlighting some of those games and some of those surprises, it's going to be an incredible show. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what you're excited about. Let's talk about it. Like, share, subscribe. Share out on your favorite social media platform of choice. It would help me grow the channel a bit, and I will see you in the next video.